you think about the way that this was a struggle for you guys, it looked like for 55 minutes. To be able to pull two points out of this game has to be seen as progress from you. Yeah, we, we struggled. Uh, it's just uncanny. And I think all coaches have tried to figure out how you can get your team to play after a trip, the long trip. It just, that first game back, uh, our first period was, it was just, it was a bad period. But I thought as the game went on, uh, we got better. Uh, Bob it gave us a chance to get our legs underneath us. Um, it's a step in the right direction for the team in, in finding a way to win a, a game like this. And we're really not that good uh, right on through the lineup. Our, our goalie basically gives us the opportunity and we find a way at the end. So that's a good step. I, I know you're tired of talking about last year, but could you feel a tangible difference on the bench in a game like this I right now than you could? Yeah, I have felt different about the club uh, right on through. Even the two losses uh, early in the year, um, I just felt going through camp, uh, some new new blood, some young kids. Um, it's it's just a different feel in the room. Now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's we got to take it one night at a time, uh, uh, one practice at a time, and we just got to keep on trying to get better. And we'll have some bumps, uh, but as we have talked about as a group. Let's not look back. Let's not look ahead. Let's just look for the, the day that we're working. Tonight we had a work night, and we found a way to get the job done. John, Bob was good. Your PK was also solid. Really important. All the way through creating opportunities again and then killing the late one uh, that was yeah. big. Yeah, it, 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 the penalty killing has been good all year. I, I like to know a team in this league that has more chances shorthanded than us, and we can't score a damn goal because um, we've had a ton of chances shorthanded. Uh, but that was a key. Uh, especially in the second period, we took two there. When I thought we were getting our legs underneath us, and then we take a penalty, uh, just to keep it to keep it in range. And Bob made a couple of saves there, uh, was important. And um, yeah, so I, I'm I'm happy for them because they get they get to feel uh, a little success in coming back. And early in the year, it's something you can go back on as you get in these spots as you go through the marathon of a year. Uh, are we always going to do it? Absolutely not. But it, it's good for them to experience that. John, you talk about um, you, you want guys to not be afraid to make plays, even if they've made a mistake before. Mm -hmm. You know, Seth obviously was part of that little turn, that turnover yeah. in LA, yeah. not afraid to take the shot and, yeah. and make a confident play here. A, what does that say about him? And B, how well has he been playing? Yeah, he, he has been. Uh, uh, I mean, even tonight when there were some struggles, he was trying to carry the puck and get us going offensively. He's been good all year long. Um, the, th the thing I like about him that, you know, I did. I questioned him uh, last year it was his readiness all the time, no matter how the game's being played. Is it a physical game? Is it a skilled game? Is, is it a slow game? Is it a fast game? He's just playing his game, and, and that's where I, I think he has – uh, uh, really matured this year in taking to heart that uh, remember I benched him the last game of the year last year uh, when he wasn't ready to play against Chicago and I didn't do it to embarrass him it was a it was a good opportunity for me to let him know you have to be ready all the time he has been ready and he's brought people along with him and uh, uh, as we've talked about our, our back end is going to be our engine as we move forward here and he's a huge part of it Sam Gagne is a guy who's hoping to get, get things going, career-wise, really. And yeah. so two goals the other night, and then to score a goal in that situation, what does it mean to him? What does it mean to the team to have a guy like that come up with a big goal? Yeah, he, he's more comfortable as a winger. Uh, I don't think he has to think as much. Uh, he doesn't have to do as much work down low as a center. I think he just allows himself to play as a winger. Uh, quite honestly, that line, Zed's line, was probably our best line in the first period. Um, as the game went on, I, other, other guys started going, and I switched Sam uh, into different situations. But he, has, uh, uh, he didn't like being sat out when I sat him out. Uh, it gave us an opportunity, as, as I've talked about, to sit down and talk one-on-one, -on -one, look at tape together. Um, he, he's, always, he's looking up at me all the time. He is looking over his shoulder, wanting to get, get on the ice. Um, and he has, he's been consistent since we moved him to wing. Uh, so I, we hope it continues, and uh, uh, huge play. Great play by Cam. Cam, I thought, fought it through the night, but makes a great play there uh, on the pass, and, and Sam buries it. it. Good for him. Okay, thank you.